Hi YouTube, M6CB, back again with another video. Today is an exciting video, I'm excited about this. This is going to be a complete guide into Yesu System Fusion. I'm really, really into to Fusion, so I, I do the, the handheld side. I've got two Fusion mobile radios, the FTM100, which you might be able to see behind me here. We'll have a closer look at all of it in a minute. Uh, so my FTM100 is working as a, a node radio into a dummy load, uh, connected to a HRI200 box, connected to the computer. So we'll have a look at that and see what happens when you connect to a, a Yesu repeater or gateway as this is here. So you can see on, on what happens on their side. So that'll be really exciting. I've also got the FTM400. We'll have a closer look on that, on how to use as a user of Fusion and on the FT1D. Also applies to the FT2D and FT3D. I'm really excited. We're going to have a really good look. I've had quite a few questions about Yesu Fusion on how does it work, is it complicated, and in fact it's, it's probably the easiest of all the digital modes to use. It's so simple. Go through it all, we'll have a look at uh, each part in, in a little bit of detail, and as I say, leave a comment below, uh, get, get a discussion going. If you've got any questions, uh, please just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. I hope you find the video useful. As I say, I try and cover as much as I can to do with Fusion. So if you use Fusion already, it might be interesting for you to see what the repeater keeper or the gateway keeper sees on their side the system so we'll have a look at that and if you are a Yesu System Fusion user and you're struggling parts of it I'll show you a couple of bits there as well so stay tuned it's going to be a really good video let's begin so this is my uh, gateway setup this is my FTM100 that I use as a node radio that is connected to a HRI200 box this would only really apply for somebody who wants their own gateway or repeater now this is connected to a dummy load so only I can use it but if you're connected to someone's gateway, uh, fusion gateway, this is what they, this is the setup they will run. As I said in the intro, you can see the system works from a repeater keeper or a gateway keeper's point of view. So you can sort of see that side of it as well as the user side. If you just have an FTM100 or a 400 or an FT2D or 3D, then there's a firmware update about four months ago that basically means if you're not connected, say you bought this radio, uh, but there's no uh, fusion repeater or gateway near you, then you would have previously been a bit stuffed. But now that with this firmware update, as long as you have a PC, you can connect your uh, radio to your PC, install WireZX software on your PC, and then you could use your radio completely as normal. You can do whatever you normally do with your radio, uh, talk on uh, two meters with your friends, that kind of thing. And then you could basically put the radio in direct mode, what they call direct mode. Uh, it's basically just turning it off and turning it on again with a couple of buttons. And then that turns it into a um, internet radio, basically. Which means that when you key your microphone, no RF would come out of your radio. It would just go directly into the internet. Obviously, it's connected to your PC and then you will just come through the WireZX network uh, and then you would control where you want it to be on your computer. So that's how it works. Um, so you don't actually need to do this setup if you're just, if you're just wanting to use WireZX. Um, but the way I've got it set up, obviously I've got my FT1D. Um, I use it around the house. So I have the dedicated FTM100 connected to a HRI200. And now you need this box if you're going to host your own room. Um, so it was a bit obsolete with this update um, but it's still useful if you want to host your own room and a lot of analogue stations weren't coming through so when you're using the radio in direct mode you will only be able to talk to other digital stations whereas if you have a HRI 200 as well um, doing it the way I'm doing it you will be able to talk to analogue and digital stations so as I say if you've got any questions just leave them in the comments below I'm probably struggling a bit, little bit to explain it but the HRI 200 also lets me host my own room and my room is uh, M6EB YouTube and that's all set up in the WireZX software and then I just use my FT1 around the house uh, that's a bit of a close up look of my uh, setup there so this is a close-up of the YSX software on my monitor. Sorry, I don't have any uh, screen recording software on that. Uh, so I've just had to film the monitor itself and then I'll show you briefly on my handy how, how it works. So this would be from a repeater keeper or a gateway keeper's point of view. So obviously, as a user, you're just looking at your radio and you're navigating around the YSX network. But this is obviously what's happening on the... Uh, gateway or repeat side. So just as a quick uh, quick look, so hopefully this is going to come through on the video okay. So just a quick look at there's my FT1D you can see M6EB YouTube is flashing um, so obviously the last time I was on that room I disconnected it so if I wanted to connect to that again I would just tap the enter button 
and then you can see it's connected uh, and there we go we're now connected to M6EB YouTube and then obviously if we wanted to disconnect it we would just hold the star button and then that's now disconnected um, and then if we wanted to try uh, navigate to a different room we could just hold down the enter button uh, my favorites are listed at the top there so if we just click there so now you can see M6EB YouTube is listed um, hopefully it's coming through on the video okay but we'll try Northwest Fusion Group so you would just click enter and then you can see it change on the screen behind me and now we're connected to Northwest Fusion Group um, and then we can click back and then if we press enter again and then we go down to all this is now going to give me a list of uh, all the fusion rooms so if we wanted to go down to CQ UK we would just click it and then as you can see it's changed once we've finished we just hold the star button sends a disconnect and then now we've disconnected so hopefully that's shown a little bit of uh, what happens on the, the repeater keeper or gateway keeper's side so let's have a closer look as I say I've got the FTM 400 as well we'll, we'll show a demonstration on that let me just turn this radio on so I'll show you on the FT1 and the FTM 400 how we navigate and use YSX so if you're not used to YSX it might be a bit daunting but it really is very simple to use um, so we'll go through some of the basics now so this is my frequency of my gateway 431.8 now obviously you'll have a look on the RSGB website or whatever country you're in uh, where lists what fusion uh, repeaters or gateways are, are located near your location so you would program it like you would any other repeater but obviously this is a simplex gateway and um, so mine is 431.8 and then all you need to do is hit the Y's X button which is here so you just press and hold that it sends a data tone to the gateway and then it comes back and as you can see here hopefully it's coming through on the video you can see America link is flashing that was because that was the last room that we used and then I disconnected it before I left using the star key and then it's just disconnected now if I want to navigate through um, YSX network I would just hold the enter button down here press and hold it uh, and at the top here um, where you can see C1 uh, and all the way to C4 these are just a list of where my favorite rooms are so if you find a room that you really like you can save it in a favorite there and you can come back to it at any point without having to scroll through the list uh, but if we're going to scroll through the list um, we just use the uh, knob at the top and we go to all and then we click enter it sends another request to the gateway and then it'll come back with a list of rooms so yeah now it'll give us a list of rooms in room size order at this side and then we can just scroll down uh, find the one we want once we get to the bottom of the page um, you, you'll come to these arrows so you'd have to press uh, again to go to the next page it will send the request and then it will load the next list of pages um, and then obviously as I say these are in room order so we'll say we'll try this room here or try uh, I don't know it could be anyone HB 27060 you would then click enter sends a request to the gateway and then now we're connected so now you can see that we're connected and now you can see when if no one's talking it will bring you up to this menu here and now this is where you can put local news so if you click on local news this will be uh, voice messages and things that are uh, left on the gateway so if you connect to a gateway or a repeater you can leave messages either voice messages picture messages if you have the uh, Yesu microphone that has a camera on it you can leave pictures uh, on, the, on people's gateways and repeaters um, or you can leave voice messages so if we click enter and now it's going to take us here so if we go to news station again so you can see upload and download so we'll click download I've already put some some bits on there that we can see so we've got voice messages that we've got uploaded there we've got uh, picture messages and uh, text messages so we'll click voice now these are what's on the gateway itself so here we go we can we can test those so I'll just so we'll try this message and there you go and then we'll just go back and then go back again and then you can upload your message so if we click upload there and click enter you can upload a voice message so all you do when you go on to voice there is you just press the PTT and it'll start recording so we'll try that now this is Mike 6 Charlie Echo Bravo test M6EB testing and there you go upload complete so it's uploaded that now 
and then to, to, to listen to that back uh, we just go back, go back to download uh, back to voice it will send the request to the, the gateway and then we can test it out like that this is Mike 6 Charlie Echo Bravo test M6 EV testing and there you go, works absolutely perfectly. Now, so obviously we're connected to that room that we was connected to before, so if you wanted to disconnect it, you would just hold the star button on your radio, sends the tone to the gateway, and now we're disconnected. And then obviously if we wanted to, to have a look around again, so we'll, we'll try and connect to my room now. So my uh, uh, fusion room is called M6EB YouTube, so we'll try and connect to that now. So we hold the enter button down, and then we can scroll down to... Now we can select search and direct and we'll search for M6 uh, CEB, hold down the enter button and then hit search. Now it will search and there you go M6 CEB YouTube and then hit enter and there you go now we're connected to, to my uh, room there. And that basically is the same process for, for anything. So if we wanted to add M6 CEB YouTube as a favourite you've got add there, you would just click enter and then you would add it to the to the different places that you want to go so there you go we've added it there and then you just click back so I'll show you my favorites now so if I go back there so now if I hold down the enter button again sorry if the, the, the lights reflecting off the camera a bit but we'll hold the enter button down and then you can see at the top there the top line we'll click that now these are a list of my favorites as you can see I've got CQ UK Northwest Fusion Group uh, YouTubers room so say we want to go to CQ UK just click enter and then there we go, we're connected. And then six GY. And there you go. Like there's some activity going on. Now you have to wait for a gap before you can disconnect. Now if I press the disconnect code now, it won't disconnect because there's somebody talking. So you need to wait for the gap. A bit like on DMR. There you go. Let me just hit connect, disconnect. And there you go. Now we're disconnected. So that's how you do it. So that's a quick look on the FT1D. So we'll have a look on the FTM400 now. So if you've got a, a Yesu uh, FTM 400, uh, we'll have a quick look at the same sort of process of how to navigate on YSX and, and basically how to use it. Um, so it's really, really simple. My gateway is 431.8, so all we need to do is put that uh, frequency in there. If it was a repeater, obviously program it like you would any other repeater. And then all you do is you hold down the YSX button, like so. It'll send the, the request to the gateway. The gateway's now just come back, and it says here, you can see it's greyed out at Texas Nexus because that's the last one we, we tried uh, when we was testing it out. Um, so if we want to find a room, you would just click the arrow here. And then you've got your favourites are listed at the top, a bit like the FT1D, but I don't have any favourites listed in this radio. Uh, so you just click all. Now it'll get, uh, go send a request to the gateway. The gateway is now coming back with a list of, of rooms. Uh, these are in size order again. So obviously you can go down to wherever you want to go. So we'll try this Ohio link. So once you've highlighted it, just tap it. It sends the request to the gateway. And then as you can see, now we're connected. And in the same process, we've got news station, uh, local news. Uh, so if we click uh, news station, um, go to download here. And then we've got voice messages. Very similar to the, uh, to the FT1D. Um, now all these are different messages from people on the Ohio link so uh, we can just click one to try it so that was a very very short message there try it again so you can see you can leave messages on uh, on the Ohio link itself um, so that's really really quite good and then obviously if you wanted to upload one you would go to upload you can upload a, a, a text message or a voice or a picture so if we went back to download on that Ohio link and see if there's any um, messages on there so there you go we've got this message here there you go Y is X now available there you go so you can see you can basically upload your own messages and that kind of thing see if there's any pictures on there yeah no no pictures so basically that's what the news station is now if we went to local news this is the local news on the gateway that you're actually using not the room that you we were just in so you just click that uh, news station and then go to download voice and there's my messages that we did on the FT1. See, there you go. Absolutely works perfectly. And if we wanted to upload our message, you'd just do it the same way we did with the FT1. 
so really really nice now if as you say we're connected to Ohio link so if we want to change rooms you just press the, the arrow again click all and then it will send the request over to the, the gateway it's going to give us the list again and then we can scroll down we can keep going all the way to the bottom and then you can hear it clicking it's it's reloading the next page so now it's going to give us the, the list of the next page and so on so now let's try this Sweden link you would just click it and then now we're connected yeah, yeah, to Sweden yeah. link and as you can see there's somebody talking on Sweden link now so to disconnect that you would just use the star button on your microphone and you would hold that down and then when there's a gap in the transmission it will disconnect from that room and there you go now we're disconnected so now you can see that Sweden link is greyed out so we're not connected to that anymore so if we wanted to search for uh, M6CEB room uh, my own room there so you just go search and direct and then you would just search for M6CEB click enter and now it's going to search M6CEB and there you go M6CEB YouTube click on that and we are now connected and then we've got news station uh, so see if there's anything actually on my room so this is a really cool feature like we did on Ohio link before you can leave messages on rooms and stuff and there we go so it's really really nice feature is that I really like that so now we're connected to M6EB YouTube and then if we hold down the star button on the microphone sends the request and then we're disconnected so that's basically how you use uh, wires X it's really really simple to use and they all work in basically the same way but we've had a look on the FT1 and we've also had a look on the FTM 400 and it obviously works very similar on the on the FT100 as well so hopefully you found that useful I've really enjoyed this one this is one of my favorite videos I really like uh, Yesu Fusion it's been a, a brilliant motor to uh, to have a play on over the years and as I say it's really really good so uh, if you have any comments at all just leave them below don't forget to like the video and if you haven't uh, subscribed I would really appreciate it subscribe so if that subscribe button is uh, red that's not good you need to click that subscribe button and make that go grey and then we're all happy days everything's fantastic so if that, if that subscribe button is red click it it'll go grey put the bell notification on next to it and then you won't miss anything when I next upload. So as I say, I hope you found the video useful. There'll be so much more coming. Um, so stay tuned for more videos. I've been M6EB. You've been very kind to watch. 73.